What is going on YouTube? I know I have not made a video in probably about a month, but today's track day. We got the car on the trailer right here. I'm not going to bore you guys with anything. Me and John are headed to the track right now, so I'll catch y'all when we get there. Let's see ya. Alright my friends, we have made it. We're at Thunder Hill Raceway. This is the first time I think you guys have ever had a video that's like a vlog of me at the track, and I've been here probably five times since I've been doing YouTube, and I've totally left you guys hanging. But uh, you're going to get track footage today. It's going to be tons of adrenaline grip possibly us spinning out we'll see i am going to get the car off the trailer right now start setting up shop over here then we're going to walk around show you everyone's car i'm going to try and show you as much as i can today and of course i think i'm going to be showing um i believe i have three or four sessions i'm going to be showing the full two minute um video of my fastest run in each session so you guys will actually be able to see all my fast laps we're going for a 206 today that's gonna be my goal i ran a 209 last time <clears throat> with 285s all the way around. Now we're running the first time with this new setup of the Neato NT01 315s all the way around. So I think a 206 is uh, in the making today. All right, we just got done with the driver's meeting. We got the bumper on the car, all set to go. The current time is like 8.30, yeah, 8.34. And um, my first session is at 9.30 and that's just kind of a warm up run. Uh, we're not really trying to push the car, I'm just trying to warm everything up. My main concern today is getting the tires warm on the car because these tires are unlike, you know, the Michelins that I had before. Track tires take much longer to get warm. Once they're warm, they're grippy as fuck, but uh, we gotta make sure that they are definitely hot. Since we have an hour before our uh, first run, I wanna show you guys all of the cars that are here because there's a ton of badass cars that you guys definitely need to see. Starting right here. Look at this thing. You don't see many uh, blown track cars, but this one is going to be fast as fuck today. Bunch of uh, GT350s. We got a ton of RSs, STs out here today. Some S197s. Got a ZL1. It looks sick as fuck. Oxford 5.0 over here doing his thing. Yeah. So, this is a 30 so I thought that my NTO ones were like bald, but I've come to find out that no, this is bald. Mine, mine are fine. Yeah, this is this is gonna be the, their highlight day, their performance debut. <laughs> Here's another banger if you guys haven't uh, seen this car on Instagram. We'll keep on walking down showing you the lineup. All of these RSs are over here. There's tons of cars out today. Every run group has about like 18 cars. So it'll be fairly crowded, but I think if they space it up right, we should be okay and we'll have plenty of space. Really good looking 18. Got a Mishimoto oil cooler in there too. Good looking. R. Ooh, with that cage in the back too. It's good. I've never seen a GT500 on track until now. So that should be fun to watch. And this is what you guys really want to see. GT4 is here. If you guys are active on social media, you've seen that car on Instagram this week. It seems like it's a fake car and it's really weird that it's actually here. Like that's a real life car. That thing's, it's already been on track. I'll show you guys it on track as it's passing by. It's been kind of doing its own laps by itself with no other cars. So that car is fucking insane. Whole bunch of Shelby's over here. Available, 
race forever. He's still mini racing. And that was Monty's number in SSCA. He was number 57 in SSCA. Wow, quite the lightweight hood, huh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> carbon fiber hood, carbon fiber roof, carbon fiber trunk, fiberglass fenders, chin spoiler. So what does this thing weigh? 2840. <laughs> oh my goodness, with this motor in it? Yep. <laughs> That's ridiculous. And I think I'm going to put the camera down for now. Um, I'm going to get the car ready to go and we are on track in about 15 minutes. So, I'll see you guys on the GoPro. Alright guys, well as you could see in uh, that previous GoPro footage, oh hang on, time on, time on. Look at my guy, Jesus. So as you can see in the GoPro footage, we got stuck behind, get this, a GT350R and a GT4. I don't know why we got stuck behind those two cars, people were out here saying they don't want to go to the track on stock suspension, well a GT4 just ran a 232. We are getting some rain, we're going to see how that goes. Uh, the NTO ones are gripping good. The suspension actually feels really tight for having the stock performance pack springs. We have another hour until we're back on track. Hopefully the rain kind of comes to a stop. And uh, we're on the battle for 206 today, so let's get it. All right, I don't know what I ran on that previous lap. I'll, I'll end up watching the video and finding out kind of relatively what it was, but my lap timer wasn't quite working. It was fast though. We definitely are pushing the car today. The 315s are gripping great. Um, I'm gonna get the whole camera situation figured out. We have two more sessions left and uh, the car feels good. So 206, I think, I think we're gonna hit it. But these 315s are absolutely insane. I'm starting to learn some of the parts on the track where I cannot brake as hard um, and actually 
use more of the grip rather than braking. Like I said, we have two more sessions, so plenty of time to improve and learn this track. But I'm trying more to stay in fifth gear this time around um, and using fourth and fifth. So if I, if I can continue to do what I'm doing, we're gonna be in good shape. A few moments later. All right, I totally messed up on that session. First off, the lap timer is still broken. The GPS, the signal here is just terrible. So I think that was the issue. I downloaded another app to see if it was any different. Same thing. So I can't really tell my lap times, but I know that we were flying. That last lap, the GoPro was not recording. I hit the picture button, not even on video mode. I know, amateur mistakes. This is awful. We got one more session for the day and uh, I'm gonna make sure everything's going. I'm gonna see if I can figure out the lap timers. The last lap that we just did, which ended up being the final lap, we, we couldn't even finish it because we had to come into pits, but that was the first lap that I had with no traffic. And honestly, it was much, much faster than my previous time, the 209. So I don't know for certain what the lap times were that I ran, but it's, we gotta be close to 207, 206, something in there. But I am gonna try and make it official on this next lap out. So we'll see how it goes. I'll keep you guys updated. The car is running absolutely great. Um, the tires are gripping phenomenally. The brakes are biting super, super hard. Uh, there's been no, no issues at all that I've come across. The only thing that I will complain about is that, not that I can complain about, but something that I need to fix on this next session. I'm downshifting too early coming into this back turn. I think I can still push these brakes a little bit more, stay on throttle maybe another second or so. I'm gonna get off the camera right now, try and figure out my GPS system, see if it's gonna work, and uh, yeah, we'll see you back on track. All right guys, I got really good news for you. Update, I went and talked to the guy that's running this whole thing today. And I got myself in the advanced group now because I was getting held up in intermediate. So we're running with the advanced group and um, I figured out the lap timer as well. I ended up talking to a guy that um, kind of showed me the ropes of how to use this new app. Because like I said, the Harry's lap timer that I usually use isn't working today for some reason. So we're using the new one and it should be working great. Uh, it's all set up, ready to go. I just got to mount it and we'll be in business. So look forward to this next GoPro footage. You're getting two new laps. Let's get it.
right, guys, as you saw in that GoPro footage, we just beat the 206. Well, we got the 206. But we got fuel cut, as you can see. I'm gonna fill up the gas tank right now. We're gonna go, my final session, I'm, I'm shooting for a 205, honestly. I think we can definitely do a 205. Um, this is absolutely insane. I'm beyond excited. Today's track day, success. Beat my PR by three seconds already. A 209 was my previous time, and we're here now. Um, so basically what happened is, back on turn number eight, I got fuel cut, as you saw in the video. I'll play a little clip again. lost fuel and uh, just got enough to kind of get by so the full tank and being able to go full throttle having nothing held back no horsepower loss it's gonna be able to to really pull hard and uh, one second throughout the whole track I mean you feel it in multiple places but definitely one second will be made if we can run even a 204 I mean I'm happy I got 206 if I don't run a better time in this next session I don't really care but this is this is dope and I'm beyond stoked. So let's get back in the car and let's see what we can do this next time. All right, YouTube. This is our final ride in the Mustang on track. It feels a little crazy. But we're gonna make the most of it. All right.
right guys, we are back from our last and final session. I'm not sure, the GoPro said that uh, the SD card was full, because I would assume so after five 20 minute videos. That thing can't handle all that storage. But if you saw, we went way off track, um, and we ended up collecting some, uh, some debris, nothing too concerning. Obviously the car was fine, they let me go back out and I could finish the session. Got stuck behind one GT350, um, but it's whatever. I ran a 207 while I was behind him. I'm pretty sure I, I you know, it doesn't really matter what I would have done that last time. I ran a 206, that was my goal for the day, and I'm beyond happy about that. So today was a successful day. It was kind of sad getting back in the car, realizing that like that was my last time, you know, getting in the saddle of the pony, since this thing will be gone um, relatively soon. So, last track day with the Mustang was a success. I absolutely am gonna miss this car. I fucking love this car to death. But uh, it's time to move on to something bigger and better. There's gonna be so much more coming, guys. And that's where we're gonna end today's video, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I promise you the videos will continue to come, especially now I have some content for you. Peace out, y'all, and be sure to work more and talk less.